It's dawn, and already people are gathering to see the majestic cherry blossoms in Washington, D.C., an annual tradition that draws people from all over the world. But how these trees got here, still a mystery to many. Do you know whose idea it was to bring the cherry blossoms here? No, no idea. It has something to do with Japan and a gift. They were a gift from Japan, right? A gift from Japan, yes. But whose original idea was it? A little-known fact until now. Whose idea was it to bring Japanese cherry trees here? It was definitely Eliza Sidmore's original idea. You'd be forgiven if you've never heard of Eliza Sidmore. She doesn't get high billing in the history books. But Diana Parcell is now telling Sidmore's story, a post-Civil War journalist turned travel writer. Found out she was an early newspaper correspondent in Washington, and that was amazing uh, for a woman in the 1870s. That tenacity took Sidmore all over the country and world, Alaska, China, Java, and beyond, becoming the first female writer and photographer for National Geographic. But it was a trip to Japan that became transformative. She is struck by the cherry trees. There was this ritual called Hanami, where the Japanese come out every spring and stroll beneath the trees in this spirit of fellowship and humanity and joy. That's the experience she wanted to create in D.C. Sidmore saw great potential for her hometown, where the Washington Monument and the area around it was still under construction. You are describing her as a visionary. She was a visionary. As soon as Sidmore, only in her 20s, got home, she asked top officials to bring some of Japan's cherry trees to Washington. What was the response she got? And they listened to her, and then they ignored her. But Sidmore was determined, and she kept asking for the next 24 years. What kept her going? It was her personality, and she just wasn't going to take no for an answer. Finally, in 1909, Sidmore found an ally in the White House, writing a letter to First Lady Helen Taft. Mrs. Taft immediately took up the idea, and from this point on, the two of them worked together to make it happen. With that powerful partnership, it didn't take long for Tokyo to agree, sending 2,000 trees to the U.S., but there was a problem. They were all infested with a variety of pests, and they said these are a risk to U.S. agriculture, they have to be destroyed. And so all 2,000 of those trees were burned. Japan was undeterred, this time sending a whopping 3,000 trees. In 1912, Mrs. Taff invited Sidmore to a small ceremony to plant them. I can't imagine the sense of satisfaction she must have felt. I think it must have been tremendously uh, gratifying for her. Now, nestled deep in the tidal basin, some of the oldest trees dating back to Sidmore's era. Gnarled, twisted trunks, you know, missing bark. They're really not much to look at the rest of the year, but every spring, here they are in full bloom. Today, the annual blooms bring out more than a million visitors. It's beautiful that we can share this with so many nationalities and so many people, and it's, it's a great thing. Sidmore's vision from so long ago, now a reality. That spirit of fellowship, humanity, and joy in full bloom for eternity. Now, you guys, Sidmore had so many adventures. She's now referred to as the Forrest Gump of her era. I am standing next to one of these trees just to give you a sense of how big and beautiful they truly are. They did bloom a little bit early this year because the winter was so warm. They typically stick around for about 7 to 10 days. And I have to tell you, we are expecting high winds here tomorrow, so there's a little bit of concern about the impact those winds could have. My advice to everyone... Come on down to D.C. and get a glimpse. It is oh, truly wow. spectacular. Go quick. You can't miss Jump those. those are, that was a beautiful story, and yeah, we learned yes, something, too. Yeah. And right in the spot where you took your wedding picture. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. See? Yeah. It all we, that that was, was Taft. Uh, thank yeah. you. Thank you. <laughs> that was beautiful, Kristen. Thank you so much. That was great. Mm -hmm. well, we, lo we love the cherry blossoms so mm -hmm. much. So we, one of our favorite mm -hmm. photographs in our house mm -hmm. is of the cherry blossoms with the Washington oh, Monument in the background. Beautiful. So. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.